So guys, yeah, I just came and got my um booster. As you can see. So I didn't think to um record it like I did the last time, but I'm just here, you know how you take it, you have to wait. They tell you to wait, um well he said wait ten minutes the last time. They told me to wait um I think like fifteen minutes or something like that to happen out. So that's what I'm doing now. Now I decide to pick up the camera. And then I'm gonna go home and finish making um, my stuff. So that's where we at with this, guys. It's probably gonna be low on this. I might have to do a voiceover, I'm not sure. But yeah. So this is how they have the section of the waiting areas. They section into um, four seats in each. And they got about. They did the whole thing, so they sectioned it all. So you got one, two, three, and I'm sitting in the fourth chair. And then it goes so forth and so forth and so forth, going on down. So yeah, so I have to keep, I guess, the social distance you see, that's on the floor. So yeah. Okay, guys. So as you see, this is the print. Let me see, maybe I'm, let me take it back so I can go all the way back to show y'all the whole thing. Cancel. Yes. Uh, okay. So here we go. This is what I did. I did a cut, a slice. Because of the background, I needed a background so I took the image and I went over here to where it says square for the um image. How it says square. Um, you click on that, you get your image. You t you click on the image, and then you have the lock that's here that you can unlock it. Unlock it. I didn't even bother. I just dragged it over the over my design, and I just. Pulled it, and then once I got it over it, let me um close, not close it, but right here on the icon where the eye, if you click on that, the eye, it'll um hide it, take it away, whatever you're working on. So I want to put that. So now, now you'll see the image is there, and there is the square. So what I did was, then you go and you highlight the whole thing. And once you highlight the whole thing, and then as you see down here at the bottom, you get, it says slice, well, attach, and flatten. So you want to slice it. So as you see, once you slice it, it's doing its work, it disappeared. Then the patient, it comes back. And as you see, you see the thing is sliced. So then... That's, so I can get rid of the square now. I'm done with that. And as you see, there you have it. And that's how you get your um your slice. So this is kind of good. Yeah. So I don't need that. I just want to show you how I did that. So I'm going to go back and bring back the one that I already did from the previous in black. So you see that's how it ended to be. And I will lay it when I print it. So actually... The um the black one I'm gonna print it out with the um heat vinyl and then the image I'm going to print it print it out with my um paper and then I will show you how I do that. So I already measured it. Oh, sorry before I had already measured it while it was on it. I had already did the um up here where it says oops. Up there, I don't know if you can see it. Offset, and when you click on that, this is when you're running your thing that cuts your um, thing. You see the line that's around it. And then once you click on it, it's going to give you another. I don't really want to click on it because I already did it. So, yeah. So now we're going to go over and we're just going to, up here, we're going to say make. 
and then we'll go over to the um, printer. So here is it's printing, and I want you to see the image. And there's the machine that we're gonna come to once this print. That's my machine. I had to put a little bling. I'm not finished. I gotta put my name and stuff on it. Yeah. Those stickers, I found them stickers at the Dollar Arm Tree store. And I just added it on. But um, so as you see, the print is coming out. There we go. So as you see, the print is out. There you have it. All right, so I know I showed this part a thousand times, so by now, y'all should know how it loads up. As you see, this corner here, and then right here in this corner, your mat goes up under. You have different mats. This is my standard mat that also you have different type of mats that you're supposed to use. So then here, the flash button, that's where you press it and it loads in. And then you hit the, the C button, which is the cricket. Once you hit that, that begins your progress. Now I got the sweatshirt and I'm taking the lint brush. I'm rolling the lint brush over to take off any, make sure any length or anything is on it because your HTV, whatever you're pressing, it will be trapped up under it. And when you press it, you will be able to see the lint. So whenever you're doing it, it's definitely, definitely good to make sure you get your lint brush and you go over it. So that's what you see me doing. Just, you know, going over and make sure it's length free. So, there I peel the first layer over. You know how I lint brush it. For those that use it. Y'all got to excuse me because the handle broke. So, I'm not throwing away my lint brush because the handle broke when it's a brand new lint brush. It's a lot of lint on that. <laughs> lint sheets or that. You feel me? You feel me? It's a lot of lint um sheets on that. So, we just going to work it out. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to roll it over, roll it over, roll it over. But it was laying on it, as you see. I was doing it. And that's all you do. And then once you do that, you, um, you're um you going to take it and you press it for like about five seconds. That's just to get to make sure it get any moisture out of the shirt. And it also helped the vinyl stick. So I did that part. I don't... I, I thought I did that part on camera for y'all, but I guess I didn't. But now you see me, I did two layers. So I'm put the first one on, which is the um the back. So that's what you see. That's the first one. I did that. I pressed that one. And then um I'm gonna go over it and then I'm gonna put the other one on top of it. So <clears throat> it's super, super easy when you're doing layering, especially if you got the machine. And, you know, it, it kind of just, like, take you step by step, how, almost how to do it. So, it's super easy. So, now I'm putting the other part over it, the coloring part over it. So, say if I want to do different, something different and different. It's, 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 it's a video that if y'all want to see it, want me to show y'all, explain to you step by step, leave the comments down below and I'll do it and I'll do it. Come back with a video like this. Because this video, I just wanted to show y'all. You know, how I pressed the shirt, how I made this one, not press the shirt, the sweatshirt, but how I made this, um, this one. So as you see, so then, um, that's the, um, the 10th, 10th line sheet that I use, but you can use, um, parcel paper, which is, I think is even better. And then it actually comes with, um, um, butcher paper, but at that moment i didn't have it so i just use use that and um so i'm pressing it and 
I really think that it came out good. And what I did was with this one being that it's not so big, thank God I was able to do like just do like a one. I didn't have to like do one side and then go back and do the other side because when you have large and excuse me, when you have large, when you press in like a large image, you have to do one side and then lift it up and bring it and put it on the other side. So that's the only advantage that uh the other um press machines have. You just boom put it down one press boom unless you're doing like a blanket or something but that's the end guys i hope y'all like it